Okay, guys, yeah, this is Paul the Pipe Guy back for part two of yet another box opening and uh, a smoke together. Uh, yeah, I, do, I, I don't know how to put the video on pause and do other things on the phone. But I saw a notification roll through and I was like, uh, I got to take care of this. So here we are back again. Yeah, uh, I want to show you that pipe. We'll be right back in a nanosecond. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you. Mm. This Captain Earl's private stock is great. Mm. Oh, I love the Latakia in it. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Yeah, so they said, uh, yeah, it's got, uh, let's see, highlighted by rich Latakia and deep red Virginia stoved and processed into a crumble cake. So our first pipe that I have, uh, and yet are another, yet another box opening and a smoke together. Mm -hmm. Didn't think you could do both at once, did you? Well, that's what we're doing. Cheers. This pipe I bought especially for the budget-minded person who really wants a nice Canadian pipe. And the seller listed rare on it. Okay, I don't know if it's rare or not. I've never heard of this, but <clears throat> this is a Lord Jeff made in England Canadian style pipe. Look at that. Look at that, Briar. It's just got a tiny little dark spot a tiny little duck and I could sand the top down and get rid of that but I'm not gonna I'm gonna leave it the way it is it's just it, you wouldn't even really notice it probably unless I told you but look at the briar it's gorgeous there's not one factory fill up here I did find down here you can still see a little carnauba wax in it there is a small uh what they call a sand hole and the pipe maker chose not to fill that. There's no teeth chatter. Well, you can see just a couple little way. If I didn't tell you, you wouldn't even know. The stem looks phenomenal. And that is six and three quarters inch long. In fact, your smoke's going to have to go through. Let's get the tape out here. Your smoke's going to have to go through 4.75 inches of briar before it reaches you. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous pipe. And like I said, this is made for the budget-minded person. I think I'm probably just going to only list that for 50 or 60 bucks. You know? That just is a gorgeous pipe. Just the, the the stem is beautiful. It's got a little carnauba wax on it. Stem is just gorgeous. Just a great, great looking pipe. It's all reamed out. I'll get rid of that white spot. But the that mark is still going to be there. That is an unfilled sand hole. And you may say, Paul, what is a sand hole? Well, when you take a five inch piece of briar and the pipe maker starts making it, sometimes you run into where the briar root has engulfed some sand or dirt or whatever. And when the pipe maker finds that, normally what they'll do is they'll do a factory fill on that. And in this case, they didn't, but that's okay. I think it gives the pipe character. 
I might want to keep her for myself, but like I said, I'm thinking I'm going to list this for 50, 60 bucks. Somebody that wants a great Canadian delivered right to them, no tax. I pay the shipping. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. That's a beautiful, i um, tell you, draw her. She's going to get to ghosted tonight. So that is the Lord Jeff, supposedly rare. I doubt it. It's not a rare pipe, okay? Don't think you're getting some $2,000 pipe, all right? Because you're not. Um, but yeah, Lord Jeff made in England. 6.75 inches long. And the briar from here to here is 4.75 inches long, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Cheers. We have something I have never seen before. I'm going to open this box. And then... But first, I, I got to smoke some more of this pipe. This pipe is just... This pipe of the year... Stanwell made in the uh, or made in 1997 is just a phenomenal phenomenal smoker and no she ain't for sale that is not for sale unless somebody offered me some stupid money I mean the crown on that is perfect the stem is perfect no teeth. It's like a brand new pipe. Yeah. And it smokes. If somebody offered me a stupid amount of money for that, I might part with it. But other than that, she's part of my private collection. Hmm. Oh, man. Sorry I had to make this in two parts, guys. I saw a little notification <laughs> during the first part. Your DoorDash order has been canceled. In other words, they canceled my beer order. Because the driver had a problem. I don't know if they got into an accident or whatever. I hope they're okay. So I just reordered it again and they gave me a credit and it finally showed up. Oh, that's so good. If you ever get the chance, if you like Latakia blends, if you ever get the chance to try Captain Earl's private stock, do so. If you love Latakia, you'll love that. And that's why. We'll be right back in a nanosecond with our next box opening. Ah, oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, Stanwall Pipe of the Year with this blend in it is just perfect. For a late midsummer smoke. Mm. Yeah, so for our next box, box opening, well, I always say to myself, if you haven't seen it before, you better buy it. And so I did. I've never seen this before, ever. We have. I'm not going to show it to you yet. A bowl number 5A made by Merlin Pipe Company. And it's made in... Tanganyana? Tanganyana? I don't know. This is a gorgeous pipe, and it is leather 
wrapped. Look at the stem on that. It has very, very little teeth chatter. Very little teeth chatter. It's smooth. I mean, if I didn't tell you it had teeth chatter, you'd never even know. But look at that. It's totally leather wrapped. And it's Meerschaum lined. That one I bought. Also, for the budget-minded customer, I haven't priced it yet. I don't know what I'm going to list it at. The leather's like spotless. Leather's really, really clean. Now you can see a little differences, but it's clean. And that one, that one would probably be in the $40, $50, $60 range. But I'm thinking more like 40 or 50 bucks, something like that. I don't know. I've never seen a pipe that's been, that, look at the stitching on that. That's gorgeous. You know, I've never seen a leather wrapped pipe. And it has a screw in stem. Uh, and this one has not been modified to my knowledge. I inspected it very closely. It's just a regular screw-in stem. Yeah, screws right into the bowl. So there again, there's another pipe for the budget-minded guy that wants a great freaking pipe and a great smoker. The, the, you know, and like I was saying, I'm buying pipes for people that are budget-minded. You can get Two great, two great pipes. I mean, ah, draw on that's great. But they're all going to get to ghosted. Let's move on to our next box. We'll be right back.